to say. And I would have felt terrible if I didn't get a chance to say it. No, you can hear me. Mr. James Harris met Stanley Kubrick when they were both young fellows in New York. In fact, the three of us were from New York. And uh, Jimmy Harris loved movies. Stanley Kubrick loved movies. They became familiar. They liked each other. And Stanley had difficulty at time getting along, getting, uh, uh, go getting going when he was starting. And this gentleman, right here, along the way, put his own money in. He was from a family of wealth, and his and he, he, <laughs> he started that. This has the glory, one of the great movies of all time, without a doubt. Was, 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 as far as I'm concerned, they gave me a part, and I was happy about that. But uh, Mr. James Harris had so much confidence in Stanley Kubrick and in his own taste and what he thought was quality. When, when, uh, when this picture came along, Paths of Glory, he decided to put his own money up. The old saying, put your money where your mouth is. And that picture, the picture that you just saw is one of the great films of all time. And this gentleman put his own money into it with uh, the, the studio. He, he did it. And he was independent films. But this gentleman saw Stanley Kubrick, recognized genius, and he was responsible for Stanley Kubrick. That's all I have to say. He didn't know I was going to be here this evening. And uh, I just wanted to come and say, he has contributed so much to the industry. The picture business looks upon Stanley Kubrick uh, uh, just the best that there has ever been as a director. And this man is partially responsible because of his recognition of the greatness of, Stan, of, of Stanley Kubrick. Yeah. <laughs> Ridley Scott. Correct. Okay, you know your stuff. <laughs> when I did Blade Runner twice, Ridley Scott stunned me. He came over before a scene and he said, Joe, he was English, Joe, how do you think Stanley would have handled this scene? Stanley who? <laughs> this is the only Stanley, Stanley Kubrick. I said, Ridley, you're doing very well. Continue doing your, uh, your, your sensitivity, your feeling, but nobody can copy or be like Stanley or do Stanley. You're doing very well. Do your own instinct. And about a week or two later, in another scene, same thing. Joe, how do you think Stanley would have approached this scene? <laughs> and I gave him the same answer. That is in respect to the great Stanley Kubrick. That day doesn't go by that I don't look at his picture and me on the wall together. 
And, uh, and this gentleman who recognized this quality. Hey, hey Joe. Uh, tell me, you know, we use you in the You use you in the testimony. Yes. How did it come about that you were in the Yeah. Yeah. That's a good question. <laughs> <laughs> Ninety, I forget. I fall. I forget. Senator, you reached out to you to do the shining. He must, he must have been remembering your work in the previous one. Did you talk or refer to the, the you know, category and killing when, when you were sitting down to do the shining with him? Excuse me. Yeah. Say the question again, Jimmy. <laughs> the question again. How many? I was just curious to know, uh, you know, how it came about. That you, that you wound up in the shiny. I mean, did Stanley call you, or did, 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 did you? I don't remember. Did, did, did the agent just <laughs> call you and say, we got, we got work from you? Oh, I do. <laughs> Joe, I got a call from England. Stanley Kubrick and Jimmy Harris want to use you in a picture called The Shiny. I said, you're kidding. He said, no, no, they just called me. You'll have the script in a week. And within two weeks, I was in London. That's how it happened. And I stepped out, I got off the, uh, when I got out of the cab, I was going into the studio and here came Stanley. He was just walking out with his daughter. Stanley, Joe, how are And he started to photograph me with his eyes as the bartender, looking at me this way and this way, this way and that way. Uh, he was quite the man. He was the only man. And I don't blame uh, him being asked, how do you think Stanley would have shot <laughs> <laughs>